Hi, born in Nova Scotia here again. Uh, I'm going to show you how to throw a whale on the wheel. All right. Uh, here is my whale. Finished item. It is the lid. One of them. We can get a better angle here. That's one of them. And then here is the other one. So those are the lids to the large jars that I threw the other day. There you go. Let's get this set up. Sorry about the dizziness. If I can get this so you can get a good angle at it. All right, there's one thrown. That's the body of the whale. So this is how I did it. With a clean wheel head. This is about a pound and a half of clay. All right. So it's centering just as normal. It's basically just throwing a form and closing it up at the top. But you have to start with such a tiny base. So you, when you push your finger inside, I'm not going to open it up. to about a centimeter from the bottom, so I got some clay to work with, because it's a sculpture, really. Slow the wheel down a touch. It's still going pretty fast. Now I'm pushing in every time deep at the bottom, bringing the clay up. I don't want to go too thin, because it'll wobble. Push deep again. It's like making a tall bud vase. But I'm trying to keep the top narrow, although my hand obviously goes in and opens it up a bit each time. Deep again, but not too much now. I've got it pretty narrow already. Get some of that thickness. The whale is quite long. Now I don't need to widen it anymore. I'm just trying to get that thickness and bring it into the tail area. The head is at the bottom. I tried making them the other way around as well, but with the head at the top, but it didn't work as well. All right, so let's get the water out. Never stop the wheel when you're pushing down the sponge. Okay, so let's, I'm just gonna widen the actual bottom a little bit. Not at the very bottom, but just up from the bottom, because that's the head of the whale. Coming up. Now it's gonna start tapering in from this point on. So this is called collaring, as many fingers as you can get around the piece so that not too much at a time just enough pressure to make it narrower same again it's quite thick at the wall at the top because I've been pulling all that thickness up from down there so I can now do a little pull to make it Get some of that thickness, make it a bit taller again. I didn't want to make it thin before the collaring because it would buckle. Let's have a look at it, see what we got. Get some water around it. Collar again. A 
Now it's just a matter of closing it off. And getting it as thin as you can, and as tall as you can. Collaring doesn't work with really thin clay, because it buckles. So basically, pinch it together. Now the tail of a whale sort of suddenly goes thin. It's got a lot of body and then all of a sudden it tapers and gets thin. So, so it's almost like the belly has this little bump. You can see that I'm developing there. And now it's closed up. And I'm going to compress down because I want, I want that join area to be fairly compressed. I will cut it to put the tail fin in. The tail of the whale. Always a little bit of slip squeezes out, you see. All right, then you take your metal rib. I'm quite happy with the bottom area down there. And just check it. There's a lot of sculpting to this later on. It takes a long time to make one of these whales. I might try and do it in a stop motion to see how that works. They go so fast, that's the problem with those stop motion things. All right, there you go. It's like the other one I threw. And then at the bottom, ah, I'm just taking the clay away because that's got to be narrowed a little bit more. There we go. But I don't want to make it so narrow that the piece starts to topple over because I can, pa I did paddling with the other ones to actually make them formed at the front. Okay, so that's how to close up the body of a whale. So it's a hollow form and I can make the whale much bigger than I normally would have on my teapots and stuff. Uh, so then I'm gonna do all the sculpting with all the fins and everything. So I'll, I'll be back to that later on. So thanks for joining me. This is Vaughan in Nova Scotia at Westcote Bell Pottery. Stay safe and stay healthy.